Hi, I'm Rebecca. Um, I qualified for my SA in 2016. I uh, trained at KPMG, um, so I've now been four years post-qualified working in industry. I've done two different roles in industry. One was a group role at a big FTSE 100 company, and now I'm working at an agency which is part of a big advertising uh, group. So I've moved from group to sort of divisional role. Um, and hopefully I can give you a few insights about my journey and um, a few things that I learned along the way. I know it sounds like such a cliche, but definitely one of the pros was the people. Um, I worked with some great people, made a lot of friends. Um, it's also really helpful to have a peer group with you while you're doing your exams so you can support one another and also you get a lot of support in terms of time off from work and going to college and so on and so forth. Um, you work on some interesting clients in quite a wide range, so you get to go in and see lots of different types of businesses. I got to do a bit of travel, which was fun. But the cons I would say are, well, sometimes the travel when you go to rubbish places that you don't really want to go to and you don't have a lot of control over that necessarily when you're quite junior. Um, I didn't particularly enjoy the type of work in audit, so that wasn't for me. And I felt like sometimes you would be trying to add value to the businesses, but they weren't really listening to you because you were just the auditors. So I wanted to have an opportunity where I could actually make some difference to the companies I was working with. I knew that I didn't want to be in audit um, for the whole of my career. So I felt like there kind of wasn't a lot of point in staying there if I didn't want to make partner. Um, I knew that for me, I would be more suited to a role in industry, working with you know the same team, with the same business, being able to build a reputation for myself in a company um, and progress in that way. So it was quite an easy decision for me actually to decide to, to leave audit once I'd qualified. Um, and I think it was the right thing to do because I really enjoyed my roles in industry so far. KPMG actually have an internal career service, so that was my first point of call. Um, so I talked to an advisor there. I also talked to some people who were a bit further ahead of me, um, both still within KPMG and a couple of people I knew who were in the process of leaving or had already left um, to hear about their experiences. Um, I also spoke to a couple of recruiters, so in particular Goodman Masson, and they put on an ACA event which I attended with quite a few of my peers, um, just discussing amongst my peer group as well the different things that people were planning on doing or thinking about long term for their careers was also really helpful. I was quite keen to move into a bigger company because I felt that it's easier to go from big to small than go the opposite direction. Um, and once I decided I wanted a big company, I was quite keen on having something which was a, you know, global and a big name. So something which was FTSE 100 was, was a real plus for me. Um, I wasn't so interested in the industry. I'd worked across mainly a couple of industries while I was in audit and I ended up going to a completely different industry when I left. Um, but it, for me, it was more about the culture at the company and the, and the people and the feelings I got when I went into interview and what the atmosphere was like and what what the role was and what, the, what opportunities there would be uh, within that role and within that company for me. I used an agency for my first move and it was actually Goodman Masson. Um, for me, that was like the easiest way because they kind of take the legwork out of it. They, they come to you with roles um, and then they're the middleman. So when you're still working full time, it does make it a lot easier. Um, when you're in practice, you have quite a clear career path. So you know when, what the milestones are, when promotions are coming up and, and where you'll be moving. Whereas when you're in industry, it's not clear cut at all. You, to some extent, have to forge your own path. Um, and also, your, it depends on the opportunities that you take and, and what you decide to do. 
sometimes vacancies don't come up unless someone else has left, which can be a little bit frustrating, but equally you could have the opportunity to have a bit of a sideways move and move from say the finance team into maybe the m a team or the treasury team or something a little bit different which is quite good um the people you work with is also quite different i mean when i was at kpmg most people i worked with were below the age of 30 and had quite similar backgrounds whereas in industry it's a wide range of people with very different backgrounds very different age ranges so you'll have a team which you know, instead of being four young people who want to go out drinking every night, you have parent parents or um, a boss who feels a bit more like your dad. So it is quite different, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. In order to build your brand, um, I found it was good to get try and get involved in things. So whether it was like a project which wasn't in your sort of day to day role or helping out someone who's in a different department, maybe um, those things always help you. It's good to be known as, as a person who can help out. So if somebody comes to you with a problem, you know, always try to help them or at least point them in the right direction. Um, I also used to attend quite a lot of social events and I got involved in a sports team that we had in the office. So that was a really good way to meet people in different departments as well. Um, you really want to build your brand, not just within your immediate finance team, but wider within the company yeah. and not just within your immediate office, but within the other offices within your company, if it's a larger company. So take opportunities to go and visit different sites if you have different sites. Um, and yeah, I think just say yes to things. That's one of the best ways. I'm currently in an FP&A role, but I have been on a bit of a journey since I left practice. So I started in a group role, which was very um, financial accountant focused. And I used to look at the consolidation, very balance sheet heavy, annual report, all that audit, all that kind of stuff. I then when I left and I moved to the company I'm at now, I originally was in a financial controller role. So that's sort of the day to day accounting, your month end close, your stats. Um, and then I've done a bit of a sideways move into the fp &A team. So now I'm focused on forward looking, the budgets, um, the forecasts, analysis of the PL. So I'm moving into a slightly more sort of slightly more strategic and commercial, more operational role. I've done the sort of debits and credits type thing, um, quite technical. So now I'm looking to become a little bit more commercial. I think it depends what your longer term aspirations are and where you want to end up. Um, you know, maybe you want to go into the startup world and work, work in really small growing companies, or maybe you're more interested in, in big corporates. So I think firstly, like make a decision based on what kind of company and what size of company. Um, I don't think you need to be limited by the area that you're working in, just because in audit, maybe you worked in retail absolutely doesn't mean you need to go into a retail company. Your experience will be useful in pretty much whatever kind of company you want to go into. Um, and then think about, are you more technical? Would you like to go down the technical path? Or are you more interested in the commercial side? Would you prefer to go down that side? Just because you choose one now doesn't mean that's where you've got to stay forever. But, you know, don't don't get yourself stuck in something that you're not going to enjoy if that's not what you want to do. Um, I think try to enjoy it more at the time. Like I didn't always enjoy working in audit, but looking back, I did have a lot of fun there. Um, and and don't worry, like things will work out. Maybe not immediately. Maybe it takes a little bit of time to get to where you want to get to, but you will get there. So and try to try to enjoy the ride as much as you can. <laughs> <laughs>